Hey there, Renee here from the team at Hive.co. We understand that managing events can be a lot. That's why we designed our platform to help make the marketing experience a whole lot easier. Collecting data is extremely important for any marketing professional, and we want to ensure you're collecting all the data you need, like X, Y, and Z. To do this, Hive allows you to directly integrate with your ticketing platform. Today, we're going to look at a few of our most popular features that'll save you time. Then you'll understand why whoever told you about Hive, told you about Hive. We're going to start by looking at event filters when creating a new campaign. You'll see our nav bar on the top left hand side of our platform. Let's select email, then hit the new email campaign button in the top right hand side of the screen. Next, you'll want to select your campaign type. I'm going to choose email campaign one time. To use the event filters for selecting your campaign recipients, start by clicking on view all filters and then event data on the left hand side of the pop-up. If you've already integrated your ticketing platform, here's where you'll be able to find and filter your contacts using your event data. Here are a few of the filtering options. Purchase tickets, total amount spent on tickets, total spent on any single event, and spending level top percent. All these filters are great options depending on which users you wish to target in the campaign you're looking to run. Today, we're going to look at purchase tickets, which allows you to access way more options. Here, we have several event filters that let you create quality campaigns. For example, you can click on purchase tickets for artists if you're creating a campaign for a similar artist, or use the purchase tickets for event genre filter and target an audience within a specific genre. We can even get into granular filtering like purchase tickets X days before an event. We'll keep things simple and filter by purchase tickets for a specific event. This is our most commonly used filter and a great place to start. Let's say that you're looking to promote an event and want to target the audience of a similar past event. That's where this filter comes into play. Under Purchase Tickets for, a drop-down with past events will appear. We'll use King Cruel as an example. Along with that, I'm also going to add the filter Purchase Tickets for Artists and use Girl Pool as an example. Next, we'll separate these filters by OR and update the subscribers count. Here you should see the total number of subscribers who are in either of these segments. These event filters can also be used in your contact list where you can create new segments based on your selected filters. These newly created segments can also be used to choose recipients when creating a new campaign. Now that you've learned how to set up your audience through event filtering, we can break down a few features that help you easily create emails. Let's continue with the email campaign we've already started and jump to choose template. We'll choose a template like this here. This will take us to the customize template step. Here we have several options for customizing your events. On the right, you'll see several drag and drop options to choose from. Many of these drag and drop options are unique to Hive, built for event marketers, and will save you more time than you'll know what to do with. Today, we're just gonna focus on one of the features that event marketers love most. We'll create an event block by simply dragging event details over from the right. From here, we can select an event. Let's go with Rock Your Socks Off and it'll pop up directly on our template. We can even see that there's a picture, event details, and a ticket link. We can even customize the event block by clicking the event and selecting different layout options. We can view it horizontally, along with a horizontal minimal option that displays less information and is super template friendly. This is a great option if you have a long list of events. Along with that, we can change the alignment, padding options, content order, picture, ticketing link, colors, fonts, and more for this specific event block. Once you've created your perfect event block, you can keep the same style as you add more events by duplicating the event block. Clicking on the duplicated event under general, hitting change event, and selecting the next event. Building your campaign is gonna be a breeze with this drag and drop option. You'll never have to worry about meticulous event details again. Now that you've got a good idea of what Hive can do for event marketers like you, play around and start creating the campaigns that you've always wanted to send. Believe me, you'll be surprised at how quickly you get used to using our platform. That's all for now.
I hope you have a great day. Bye.